Yo, 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 what's up my algebra students? All right, today we'll be solving absolute value equations. So our very first goal with absolute value equations is to get the absolute value by itself. So to do that, I'm gonna have to get rid of that plus eight. I'm gonna have to get rid of that times nine. So we'll use inverse operations again, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get this absolute value all by itself. Cool, and when I say get this absolute value, I'm talking about these bars, okay? These bars tell me that I have an absolute value. All right, and we talked about what that means in class, and we'll talk about it more. So anyway, let's work on getting rid of that plus eight. So all my students, y'all know how to get rid of a plus eight. We use the inverse operation. We subtract eight from both sides. All right, that gets rid of it from the left. And now I have nine times my absolute value equals 35 minus eight. And 35 minus eight is 27. Cool, cool. So uh, the next step is to get rid of that times nine. So again, using inverse operations. So we'll get rid of times nine by division. All right, so now I have my absolute value all by itself, just like I wanted. That was the goal. Get those bars, you know, isolated, get them alone. And on the right side, I have 27 divided by 9, which is 3. Cool, cool. So now since we've done that, uh, and we talked about it in class, we said absolute value means um, your distance from zero on a number line. So there's actually two numbers, two possibilities that are three units away from zero. The number three is three units away from zero and negative three is three units away from zero on the number line, okay? We talked about how these absolute value bars kind of remind me of uh, like prison bars, okay? Now I've never been to jail, but my uncle has and, uh, and when he got out of jail, he could either go do something positive with his life or he could do something negative with his life. See what I did there? So whenever we break out of that absolute value, we can do something positive and we can do something negative. All right. So that's a good way to remember it. Let's finish solving it. Now that I've gotten rid of the absolute value bars, it becomes just a simple little equation to solve. All right, I got to get all my numbers on the right, so I'll subtract 2. Use my inverse operations. So now it says 4x equals 3 minus 2 is 1. And on the other side, same step, same stuff. So I have 4x equals negative 3 minus 2, which I think is negative 5. All right, and then the very last step is to divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get a fraction, 1 fourth. That's cool. I can dig that. And over here, divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get another fraction of negative 5 fourths, and that's also cool. So x could be 1 fourth, or next x could be negative 5 fourths. All right, all right. So here's another example. And again, the first thing we want to do is get the absolute value by itself. So let's subtract 10. Yeah, I need to get rid of that plus 10. And I'll have to get rid of the times negative 8. So there's two things I have to do to get this absolute value by itself. So I've got negative 8 times that absolute value equals negative 54 minus 10 negative 64. Cool, cool. So to get rid of the multiplication, we'll use division. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So very cool. So we got the absolute value by itself. So step one's done. Step two says create two equations, one with a negative, one with a positive. So that's what we'll do. We'll have an x minus 8 equals positive 8, and an x minus 8 equals negative 8. Little one-step equation. Add 8. x equals 16. There's one answer. And x could also equal negative 8 plus 8. Goose egg. So some things to remember. First of all, you got to remember that you want to get your 
absolute value by itself first. So remember to get absolute value by itself first. Okay. In class, some of you guys were trying to write the positive and negative equation before getting the absolute value alone. Don't do that. The other thing you got to remember is, is to make the positive and negative equations. So make two equations, one positive, oops, one positive and one negative. All right, all right. So there's our notes. Um, cool. Hope you learned something.